Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ L7, my man right here, right? I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, Jamin Mason uh, with the People's Party of Washington. Okay, so uh, that's pretty cool, man. And uh, right now he's doing some work on reparations, which is pretty cool. He's also going to be involved in my justice reform panel. And uh, today we're here to talk about uh, black versus Asian issues and activism, stuff like that. Uh, I think it's actually a um, quite an interesting topic. Now the thing is that um, reparations, right, if you think about it, really white people, right, are the really ones who caused the slavery and stuff like that, right? I would say government, but yeah, okay. white, I mean. Basically, yeah. my people had nothing to do with it, right? We, we, we had nothing to do with it, right? Right, agreed. So why should I work on reparations? As a black or Asian man. As right. an Asian man, as an Asian man, as a black as man, I Asian totally man. understand, right? But as an Asian man, right, is it my business to even get involved? I think it is only on the basis of solidarity. I, I truly believe in that. I believe if you're there for me, I'll be there for you. So, um, okay, you know. So let's take a look at some other things, right? The thing is that, right, we look at the Jewish people, right? Mm -hmm. And not being anti Jewish, but the thing is that we see that Jews went through a very similar process of academic discrimination right yeah mm -hmm. are they helping us out now Asians who are facing academic discrimination are they they're not they're not well, no, no, they're not I'm, okay I'll be honest right not trying to be anti-jewish there's there's some Jewish people that are cool that are that are uh, sympathetic but overall that discussion it really does not exist right okay um, we take a look at um, right there's a lot there's a lot of instances like this right so what about um i think that black voice collective right something that you know you're part of right they decided not to help me right when i said that there was racist issues right because they said i wasn't a black matter i face this many times it's not like they're the only group right there a lot of times i approach right uh black organizations for help right because there's really not asian americans around so i have to look for someone else who understands racial issues and say can you help a brother out and they say you know what you're not black I get that too. I am not black, right? Yeah, but they can't help a brother out. So I'm not saying it's not just Jews. It's not just blacks, right? I'd say that this is actually a normal tendency and you cannot rely and you should not rely on anybody else to help you. And I'm telling that like I th solidarity, maybe you can do that if you want to, but do not expect solidarity back. Just actually the Bible has a story where, um, are you Christian by the way? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, that would be my... That would be my faith, uh, Christian, Christian base, raised in the Church of Christ. Yeah. I'm Christian too, so this is an interesting story, right? Yeah, it's not in all the translations, but it is in the Good News Bible. Okay, so mm -hmm. the thing is that a man goes to uh, a man owns a store and he goes to Jesus to complain because his he's he's closing his store, and then his employee is selling his stuff cheap to his friends, just kind of like being lazy stuff like that, right? So. Um, he goes to Jesus to complain, and Jesus, what do you think Jesus says? He says, Re I mean, give this man whatever he needs, pretty much. Uh, do unto others as you'd want done to yourself, something like that. Okay. I mean, think about it, right? The guy's asking for, you know, just for the guy to do his work, right? He's paying for the guy, and the guy's slacking off, and you know what I mean? Oh, oh, well. His I worker's mean, slacking off for it. So what do you think Jesus is going to do in this situation? Give them what they they they've already paid you for. Don't don't slack on them. So you th you okay? You think Jesus is gonna go down and tell the worker to like straighten out a little bit? I, I would. Could I be. Mean, could I be. Would think Jesus okay. Would stick this up is crazy. Him. Wait till you see what really happens. Right? Yeah. Jesus says to this guy, "The man did nothing wrong. Go home and close your store. Basically, f you. Go home." <laughs> That's weird, right? What do you? Why do you think? Why would he do something? That's weird, right? Because Jesus Christ himself is saying, right, yeah, you can do whatever you, you can believe, right? That this guy, you're closing the store. Before there's a deal, right? Yeah, like, you know, if he does a good job, you're going to keep him employed. It's over for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he has no incentive. You can think whatever you want is right, but you can't hold this guy to that standard. He's going to do, the guy did nothing wrong. He's just doing what's in his own interest. The store is closing. I mean, what else do you expect, right? Your store is closing. It's game over. Th that's what it is. You get what I mean? Yeah? Right. So, 
Um, I like that a lot as in terms of the approach, as in terms of just letting people live, right? So the thing is that um, I get where, you know, I mean, the, the um, black people have their own type of special discrimination that they face. Let's be freaking real about it. I'm not going to deny what they go through for a second, right? Yeah? They're in a uniquely effed up situation. It's not cool. I could, I could relate. I'm not saying I'm living the same style of problem. I have my own separate issues. All right, but um, th but what I can learn by being next to y'all is I can learn your techniques, your strategies, which I need really, really badly, right? Yeah, but it's often that solidarity comes, that the calls for solidarity. Remember that the established Democrats asked the Berniecrats for solidarity one way, but we can see that time and time again, no matter how progressive the group is, right? No matter their their intentions, power always is looking for sympathy one way but does not provide it the other way right. it's a guarantee yeah, believe, it's a guarantee right. yeah and, Go ahead. and me personally i believe that we have to be the change that we want to see period um we gotta fight our like, own we gotta the, like, do asian american people i think what do you think about this message asian american people should not learn to rely on black people for any support at all do you think that's too much or do you think that that's I, do you I think, think that's, that's a fair statement they, really, I, I think that's really. way too much. Because if you would have, if I would have been the black guy, that not you would not hating about, on blacks, I, I appreciate so right. much what blacks have done for us. But I'm saying right now that we cannot rely on them at all, right? But yeah. You, you you asking to rely I, on the wrong ones because <laughs> I would have been there for you. That's, I know, that's I I'm know, saying. I know. I I'm not out there in New York, <laughs> but but I'm telling you, you find the right person that has a heart like mine from the black community in New York, and they're gonna help you no matter what, because that's what I believe should be happening on all levels. Now, I'm not saying to stop this black community from doing what they're already 10 toes down and doing. Okay. But what I am saying is, dude, give time off your plate. Give them, give the Asian community a piece of your time. However it looks like, it can't all be about me. I don't want it to all be about me, but okay. I also want my people taken care of, you know? So it's like, I think you talking to the wrong black person because I've, you you know, to... I've learned so much from Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. They're so, um, and I feel like some of the things that they said, they were very pro Asia. They loved it. They talked about little Asian people all the time. They were like, yo, they are brothers. We're looking out for them. I feel like that part of the, um, the message has definitely faded. Um, but I'm a huge fan. So, Look, in some things we can work together. I'm not saying that we can't work together on things. We, I definitely am all about that, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying we cannot rely. Right, right, right. Right, we cannot right. rely on them, right? We, or we should not rely on them or count on them. I mean, it would be, you know, should we provide help? I, I'm there, right, with you, right? I'm taking right. these events, right? I, I'm there right, for reparations, what, dude. I'm there for that shit. What, yeah. what are we doing right now, okay. though, Ed? Yeah. What are we doing right we, now? We're working out, right? How are we going to work together? We we're trying right. to figure out for our communities right. what, where, where right. the real points are and have a real discussion. On right. So, like, one of the things that we talked about earlier, right, was that really it's the white people who cause the black people problems, not the, not the Asian Americans, goddammit, right? Yeah. Right. And the, the, yeah. the problems for both of us has come from European descent. I mean, period. No matter which way you cut that, I mean, yeah. they, have, they have had that foundational our way or the highway since day one but you know? yeah but the thing is that the the white media they don't want to project the stories of their problems but when it's our between us they've raised that shit to the sky they sell in your bunk they sell in you them lies right we are actually in your community selling them stuff because nobody else wants to be there right yeah because they're racist yeah. right you're coming in, right? Yeah, I'm not saying my people are perfect. Like, some of them, like, yeah, but that's just how, how my people's is straight up. Like, our whole language, you know how you guys, like, conjugate based off of the I am, he is, she was, like, like that, right? We conjugate mm -hmm. stuff based off of your social hierarchy. You're either higher or lower, and that's how we modify all our verbs. Like, you're either, like, talking up to someone or you're talking down to them. Like, that's, if you, yeah, if you think about, like, Confucius and Zen, are those the only philosophy that really survived was one that like obey the system? How would say right? That, that's that's a shame though. I mean, yeah, you're right. There's but... a lot of dissident thought, but they have a long history of book burning. It's not like we didn't come up with that, right? But it's very underground. The just the way the they've learned to suppress us.
there's also free thinkers that have also learned to like Vietnam and Korea managed to keep their ethnic identity for 2000 years right so people right will be linking us all to whatever you know what I mean it's all messed up but um, there's other also realities too right like the fact that I as a DJ I could play a whole night of music right black music rap music reggae music right bachate salsa merengue right and there's not one artist the the whole night that looks like me we do, right blacks have sports and entertainment but we get nothing it's <laughs> where where are we I at think, i think i think there i mean i know for a fact my dad yeah. taught me asian food i think the cultural um i i think you guys have benefited and we do see awesome uh arms growing off of your what where you guys have came from as far as food and and okay. you know your ethnic background your culture is that there food actually the cheapest it, it's definitely i know thai food's the smartest i know they they well, eat yeah. the best diet you can have but mostly um, our asian food is cheap cheapest, food right because our labor is right. worth the least which is lame and i believe we should yeah. change it that's you know? that's fine i mean that's that's the that's the role that we're in i mean that's cool but you know like we do have some things it? also yeah there's other things going on too yeah there's um there's a lot of like things that people just don't notice about right our exclusion right they can just they they completely just don't even see it or recognize how deep it is um also right and we I, think, yeah. I, I, I see the pain on I see the pain on your face, fam. I've I've watched you talk. I've watched you talk with your heart on your sleeve. I've watched you talk um, and, and really have passion in what you're doing. Hell yeah! And and now sitting back and looking at it, like I see what you're saying. Like there isn't no huge, you know. You see, like even here in Seattle, we got a place they call it Chinatown, and that's yeah. all you know, which is. A horrible thing to I don't even think they call it that anymore, but that's how I grew up. That's yeah, you know, it's right that's next all to good. school. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. Um that's what yeah, that's it. what they it's all good. That's <laughs> what they called it. But what I'm saying is that's a gentrified little tiny little and, and really you don't see Asians anywhere. I have a good a good uh partner out here, uh 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 Nuno. No, no, he, okay. he actually started the People's Party with us out here in Washington. And uh, he's he's political, he's taking political science. He's up there at the UW banging it out right now. But this is the whole thing. Like, I don't, you don't see Asians outside of where you find that gentrified, like, they just stick to their own in that spot, you know? And so, like you're saying, where you guys are always in the armpit, of something or you're just you're just barely there like that is horrible and i yeah. do believe we should should stand up for that and you should be able to hold your head high and i know i know you hold your head high no matter what because so, i've seen you walking this you know yeah this is like so like really insane for me to like see like you know um and i kind of you know i don't mean to call them out on this particular thing but it's just on my mind i'm just, you know i speak very freely right yeah revolutionary right. black i'm a man socialist mma i did the first interview with him then he did panel discussion after panel discussion with no asian american representation at all right yeah for a long time after i started to make noise about her then he started bringing on this guy called danny haifong on because my message was inconvenient um and it seems like often right being asian american that often blacks are ready to team with whites more often than they're ready to look out for other minorities sometimes and how, do you, I think that's how do you horrible. feel about that i mean do you I, I, would you agree you, do you see that as well or is that just something uh, see that uh to a point not really though because i mean okay. in washington you got to remember i'm from yeah. washington it's all good. so okay. it is it is a totally different uh, the west coast is a totally different world like we're sectioned off to ourselves but if you had you know, people from different ethnic backgrounds, I would see uh, the black community resorting to different ethnic backgrounds before they go and reach out to the white community or, you know, that's just from my, from what I've seen, you know, and how I've lived life. But like I said, it's different out here in Washington as opposed to New York, um, you know, or 
like like my friend Joy, she told me, um, you know, she's so adamant about guns. But then when I look at what Chicago, what guns have done to Chicago on a bigger scale, like you look at those numbers and that, oh man, it's horrible. So I can see where out here in Washington, yeah, you could, you go hunting, you do this, you do, out there, dude, they're using the gun for one thing. That's to protect themselves or kill people, period. So, like, I think you really have to take yourself outside of the box, especially for someone like me, because I was like, oh, no, man, we need guns. We, you know, I'm I'm a second, second Amendment right type of dude. I don't think they were given to us to protect us from each other. I think it was to protect us from the government. I think yeah. that was the, you know, so we could fight back. Um, but now, like that fight is on a totally different level. You know what I'm saying? This is, they, we can't beat nuclear bombs or, or just like what they did in Tulsa, Oklahoma, dropping bombs on communities. Like how, how can you even call that human to even yeah. think of that, you yeah. know? Um, so I kind of um, got off track. No, that's okay. My bad. No, okay. Uh, no, I appreciate that, that perspective, man, for real, yeah? So let's take let's go back to once again talking about black and Asian issues right here, right? Um, now the thing is that I um, see you smoking, so I'm gonna smoke, man. Yeah, I see do it, do it. Yeah, right. we we siphon right here. We smoking the peace pipe right here. We, 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 right. Yeah, siphoning. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. the thing is that um, we look at um, shit. Give me a second. Let me relight this. Okay. So the thing is that. I appreciate that there's a certain, um, you know, narrative that surrounds like uh, black issues that people in America are generally aware of. They often call Asian Americans the invisible minority, right? Because people are just often not aware of our issues. Like when I pointed out the fact that I could play music all night long, like you're like, whoa, but you, you see it right away, but people just have not noticed it for a long time. What do you think that the Asian community can do to build solidarity with black people to get them to help us with our issues more because they understand what it's like to be right um the one black guy in the room where everybody's just overlooking your needs because you know you don't matter because you're just that one black guy you get what i mean right yeah right um you guys get it that's what i that's yeah often yeah right and i believe that a like for me personally the the common thread that i've always had real good relationships with it keeps on going back to my stomach, but I love to eat. I love food. I got that from my dad, you know, no matter what kind of food it is, if it's good, I'm going to eat it. So let's talk about that for a second too. Also the cultural thing, right? Yeah. Right. Now the thing Mm -hmm. is that, am I acting black? Some people might think that, right. Or am I acting white or what am, what am I, right? Is there an Asian American culture? Right. Just the way they say blacks lost their culture. They lost their last names, right? Yeah. What's my culture? Right, right. I, I can totally see that being the same way for you. This is I mean, this is American culture for me. Honestly, hip hop has been right with Latinos from the beginning, from the very beginning, right from the right. They were deep in the in, in the graffiti movement. White people was there too. Asian Americans was there too. I'd have to say that just hip hop, like my friends are the same friends that you have, right? White, black people just mix. There's just not that many Asian Americans around, especially in this field, right? Right. It's not like, right. you know, I have my secret cache of uh, Asian people stashed somewhere. I mean, you know, I just have the same percentages that everybody else does in life. You know what I mean? But people just make these weird assumptions that I live in some kind of like weird ass, I don't know what kind of land they're making up. You know what I mean? I'm living right. the same so, life you are. Yeah. So are they not, are, are Asians just anti, anti po- politics? Is that where it's like the disconnect? Because they're like, why would I fight for something that ain't going to help us? Is that, I guess you would be answering my question because I, I don't know, like, are your grandparents, do you, do you talk to your grandparents or your parents or? There is many, right. um, there is many Asian cultures here, but one of the things mm-hmm. that is kind of, like I said before, like the Confucianary thing, remember we're strangers in a strange land. A lot of them are just trying to like figure out how to make it, number one. Number two, because we are not seen as leaders, right? Even though we've been dominating acting since the 80s, right? You can see I walk in to UPA meetings with a clear um, 
with a clear uh, set of knowledge and skills every time, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'm mm -hmm. pretty consistent with what I'm able to contribute and mm -hmm. accomplish, but you could see again and again, other people are lifted to the sky, having done so much less. Jackson Hinkle is a great example, right? Yeah, like what has he actually accomplished? Like sucking on right. Jimmy Dore and freaking Nick Brown, and that's it, yeah. It's Ridiculous. Right, which is horrible. That's the only way I've even heard of that guy, honestly. Um, I know you and respect you because of what you show me. Thank you, you show me with your own, you know, whatever. We, we now, not to say we haven't always agreed, you know. I've but I like that about that you, you too. I don't want someone who's a pushover. I need someone who has right. their own right. ideas and someone right. who's can stand on their own. And you're not you're you're holding down Washington. That's a fantastic, man. I can't. Yeah, yo, I'm so so respect you. Yeah, sorry. Well, it's, hey, that's Mark, man. I'm I'm telling you, I am a good. I connect dots. That man, our, our chair, Mark Mixon, is is brilliant. Mm -hmm. So I, a lot of kudos. I I wouldn't be we wouldn't be as a state here without his knowledge and, and help. You know, uh, it takes all of it's us. It's a team, right? Right. It's so, a team. This is a team effort. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. You're a valuable member, man, Jamin. Thank you. Your perspective Thank is amazing. You, yeah. So I appreciate that. Um, what, I do. what what could Asians do? You said, like, get to know more black people. I would agree with that, right? I'm hanging out with black people all the, on the regular. I actually have black friends. Not like right. Jimmy Dore. Right. <laughs> right. I actually have black friends. Um, what can, um, just so you know, there's a lot of uh, this idea that Asians don't spend money in the black community. Um, but I do. Where are we going to spend our money at? Right. Like, we're right. going to go to the same... If we're in your neighborhood, if you have anything, who's mis who's not, are we going to listen to? Some of them are listening to that music from China. Right? Yeah, but... Right. Eventually, we're here. We're going to end up listening to the same thing y'all do. Even if not even if not one person looks like us. For the whole entire freaking thing. Right? Yeah? I know this, I, don't, yeah. I don't think I don't think anything should be wrong in it. There is beauty in everyone's culture. I don't care which way you cut it. Well, y'all eating right. our food, right? Yeah, so you're in our right. culture too. Right? right. You're it's, you're in our culture. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. And I not only eating your food, I love your food. So there are things that are we crossing that, over. Right. You can't not cross over. And that's why I say, how can you not want to build coalitions? I don't care if your tie is red, blue, black. I don't care what you, if you are for the common good of all people, which come on, we all should be doing that. Everyone should be there for that. I'm with you and I will support you. Support me and mine. I'm going to support you in yours. Period. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's me. That's one half black, you know, half black, half white man that's telling you that. But I know there's many others like me. You know, I'm I a, do. Straight up, I'll be telling you, like, even though, like I told you before, right, we cannot expect or should not expect black people to back us up. Like Carl Kanai clothing. I loved it when hip hop was about supporting a black, right, a black fashion designer, right? And said this Tommy Hilfiger Gucci nonsense. <laughs> it's so sad. They don't even like us. Right. What? Right. Why why are you spending money on this stuff? Start buying our stuff. I don't get that. Yeah. And I, I really believe that. Like like black brown owned, That's disrespectful. I believe, that's right? ridiculous. I believe it should be. And that's how we really take our power back is by not spending with them. That's a, well, that's what people don't get. Like They mad at they mad at us in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, something like little right because the white people don't want to be there. Rocking what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why, why, why are you doing that? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Right. Right. And, and, and you are so right when it comes to that. And I believe that's where we have to really only go. Like, like if we were to, if, if people were dead set on only blind, buying things from a black or a brown, man, you know how quick they would feel that? They so, would look. feel... I want mm. I want to earn the I want to earn the respect of the black community. I want right, I don't want the black community to help us for no reason. What can Asian Americans do to help the black community to earn their trust and respect so they do help us in other things like stuff that we need help on? I think I think just just being there as true allies when it counts. And I believe showing that solidarity both 
you coming to me with solidarity and me coming to you with solidarity, that's something that gets built upon. You know, it starts from the concrete and it goes up. Hopefully you're building it strong because if not, it's going to fall, you know? Um, I truly believe that it's it takes time and it takes trust. Like we you, we got to build that. You, you don't walk in somewhere trusting somebody. Oh yeah, catch me. I'm going to fall. You know, you don't I'm not doing that for nobody, you know? Um except those people that I know I could trust to do that, you know? So, I mean, building that bridge, man, building that bridge and not burning bridges down. That's you know, cuz a lot of people one one instance they don't get along on something, they never talk again. And that's that's what I think between the black community, the brown community, all people, like don't let one situation totally jade you behind, for the rest of whatever it may be. He may, it, he may have said something stupid today and be brilliant tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You know? Y'all yeah, still gonna hang out for my man Otis Buckley? Actually, just so you know, the original uh, black coordinator from MPP was he oh, trying to yeah, work? Yeah, on... I remember that dude. Yeah. yeah, he's in my videos actually. Actually, he was trying to work on reparations. So, don't want to take away from his stuff, right? Uh, I know that he was still interested. If he's still around, um, you know, everybody's welcome to join uh, UPA. I am. Oh, yeah, it's a solid group. Yeah. So right. anybody who wants to get stuff done, um, that's where every, that's where everybody showed up after get, after getting yeah. Brana's bullshit. After getting fed up with right. Brana's bullshit, everybody turned up there. It's right. been a party for years. Like every, yo, is there something going on tonight? We got to go show up, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if there is. There probably is. They got something every night. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, banging. But we got to do stuff in real life too. Oh, right? yeah. Time. It's uh, it's uh, Mike McCorkle night. They're doing the party night. Yeah, they. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, cool. cool. I, I'll probably go jump in that after this. Yeah. But hey, okay. man, this is my man, Jim Mason. Uh, you guys are probably watching this because he's. Uh, and going to be in my upcoming uh, uh, panel discussion with the, uh, the with the criminal justice reform. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for uh, any last the words you want to share. Uh, just uh, People's Party of Washington. Check us out. Check out our our platform. Check out what we're doing. Bylaws. Everything's right there. Transparency. That's how it goes. And it's it's morphing into the UPA the same way. And it's it's amazing. Check us out. Hey, thanks for this amazing talk, man. We'll catch up later. Peace. God bless. It's a dark day in our nation when high-level authorities will seek to use every method to silence dissent. The truth must be told. And if you want the truth, you need to check out independent media producers just like myself, DJL7. You should subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications when I release a new video. The truth of these we words all is the beyond doubt. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Unfortunately, we have definitely seen that these mainstream outlets will cave to corporate interests. So we encourage you to join our independently moderated communities of Reddit and Discord. We also encourage you to subscribe to us on BitChute and Daily Motion so you can see the content that YouTube doesn't want us to let you see. Hey, now it's time for the most important part of the video. That's right. It's time for us to tell you about the Taking Action Group. Do you need an activist? Or maybe there's no activist around willing to help you with your cause and you need to learn to become an activist. That's exactly why we're here. Every week we get up with people from across the nation, in fact, even sometimes internationally, and we develop strategies and a game plan to address the issues that are affecting all of us. Every week, myself from New York City and, of course, my co-host Lisa from Los Angeles provide a coast-to-coast -coast perspective on what's going on in the country. If you want to donate to help out with expenses, travel, equipment, you know, stuff like that, then I definitely appreciate it, and you can hit us off at Venmo or PayPal. Thanks a lot. Hey, by the way, we also have a merch store, so check it out. Oh my goodness, it seems like you've reached the end of the video, so make sure you check out some of our other videos, uh, make sure you subscribe, this is your last chance to do so, so thanks a lot, and looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment below if you have any questions or issues you'd like me to address, and if you're an activist, the time to make things happen is now.